Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Spiritfarer. Joining me is Star Princess HLC. Time to make some more abominations. And JK Lantern. Facebook is advertising uh, new amiibos at me, which I don't even collect, and the one for Sephiroth is the one-winged angel form, which confuses me because that was in Kingdom Hearts and not Smash. I mean, yeah, isn't well. that his, uh, isn't that his ultimate? I don't know, I've never actually used Sephiroth in Smash, Let's and actually... have no desire to. I'm gonna actually <laughs> head the ship to a place we haven't actually stopped at yet here, so I can get it to stop yelling at me. Did it say Sandwich Walk? Yes. We will become the Earl of Sandwich. How does a Sandwich walk? This way. Which way? This way. Which way? This way. Which way is this way? The the way that will get my splanch repaired. So what is it? <laughs> so... <laughs> I feel like we've gone in three different directions with that one conversation. <laughs> we did. <laughs> So, so uh, while we were having our game last night, Sarad, I messaged Star a little bit, although she doesn't have a full play-by-play -play or anything. Well, one of the things that came up is my character's Splanch being injured. <laughs> well, it was it was a point of the session that you were had an injured Splanch. Yeah, my, I got stabbed right in the Splanch! Strang of the clan Mimtok is dealing with an injured splanch right now. So what is it? <laughs> it's an organ. It oozes green. So what is it? <laughs> uh, I can hear Layla actually... screaming from here. <laughs> Before we actually examine here, Someone's been ready to advance their plotline for a while now. Oh god, you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of figured that's where that was going. Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, never mind. That's. You're talking about the bull and bird, aren't you? Nope, Giovanni. Yep. Oh. Astrid and Giovanni were a couple in the former life. And they were yeah. kind of the people that took care of Stella in her college days. Mm -hmm. The thing is, we're not really sure if it was cheating or not. We don't have a whole context. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we can say confidently it was just because we know him. Mm -hmm. It honestly doesn't matter how you answer there. It kind of goes the same way. Okay. At least I'm. that's how I'm recalling mm -hmm. it. You two weren't even living in the same house, so... Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Looks like it's Spamton's home. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, you're not completely wrong there. So let's see. For three easy payments of 1997. So we got tuna. And a savory veggie. Yes, it has to be a savory veggie for this. I'm gonna hate this. Probably. It's probably tuna casserole. But it is the one thing. It is the one dish we needed for our tools. Is she ready to talk? She must be ready to talk. So no I idea where she is at the moment. Also, I, did, I didn't comment earlier, but damn, those were some huge-ass chickens. Hey, chicken, chicken! I don't want to run too far because, well, let's face it, this isn't going to take that long to cook. Mm. And tuna I... is a pain and a half to fish for. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, fun fact, Mandy gets excited when you do chicken noises. Also, apparently my brother cleaning the bathroom is scary to her. She jumped in my lap while we were watching uh, Del Toro's Pinocchio. Which was awesome, by the way. Mm -hmm. Never, I haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. It's worth a watch. Yeah. So yeah, what? this is going to make the tuna tataki. Oh, oh okay. That, because yeah. yeah, we need the we need the we need that for a Gustav special dinner. Which yeah, the problem is you needed a savory veggie and there were only a couple of ways to get it. The olive tree being the most prominent one. Uh, I, I'm not sure if we still have the olive trees or if they finally died, but dad had some small olive trees in the backyard for a bit. In pots. One you it, had a sibling rivalry with? No, that was the banana tree. Oh, yeah. That's what we'll get back here. No. Get back here, you delicious green bastard. You taste like chicken. First, we need to give you... I can find all the dishes we need. Need that. Yeah. I know we need to do noodle soup and bouillabaisse. Man, I could go for that dumpling soup at the Korean restaurant near me. <laughs> Would you settle for cowboy chili? Oh. Hmm. I, I mean, it's not remotely the same thing, but it is delicious. Yes, we have a bunch of it left over. I had some for lunch today with some cornbread. And sour cream? No, cheddar cheese. Okay. <laughs> I, I should find that episode of Nero Wolf and make it a mini-server movie night. <laughs> Chili, America's only true contribution to cuisine. I don't, know, fried, uh, I don't know, deep fried Oreos seem pretty cool. I think Nero Wolf would hate those. Well, to be fair, he seems like a stick in the mud. He is. So now that we've got that set up, I'm going to explore this town real quick. Because <clears throat> there isn't too much of note here that I remember. It's just, it, it's kind of a weird place. There is a sheep. Uh, oh my god. I, I told hate you. it. I told you, it's where Spamton lives. And we learn the hell, bread Vegeta. recipe. Ooh. I love me my garlic bread. Unfortunately, we don't have access to garlic yet. Aww. But garlic's so easy. Somewhere Arcane Griffin is crying. Probably we will also my get boss. access to... Uh, we will get access to garlic eventually, but just not yet. But do we get to make olive bread? 
I'm not sure what our little red would actually be in this case. Yeah, Gri Griffin's family is very Italian, and so like, as a result of learning things from her grandmother and her mother, um, wh whenever a recipe calls for garlic, um, she pretty much by reflex multiplies the amount of garlic by, by four. Sounds like my mom. She, she's very much a, you don't measure garlic, you, you feel that with your heart kind of person. Man, I think, she said, right. the, I think <clears throat> she said the same thing about vanilla. So not a whole lot going on there except for that light bulb. And that sheep. Well, we don't need the sheep. You really don't need to pick up too many sheep. Okay, Giovanni, you finally ready to uh, find your own place? Mm -hmm. You've been hanging out with the sheep too much, I think. Well, they do say the lion lays with the lamb. Wow, they we also got say, yeah, They also <laughs> say that's um, end of times, too. Yeah, yeah. We're in the afterlife, that's pretty much end of time. When you're married, yes, that, that is the thing you do. Mm -hmm. I remember at one point my dad was doing an extensive study of the book of revelation and like the the time period in which it was written and a lot of it is basically according to some biblical scholars anyway um it's basically metaphor designed to talk about rising against the roman oppressors it was never meant to be taken literally i thought it was a mushroom induced uh, study there, there was also that. John of Patmos <laughs> did like his mushrooms. <laughs> G Giovanni needs a place to stay. Have you tried Viridian City? Ooh, or that secret cage in Tojo Falls. Ha <laughs> ha! Two Pokemon references for the price of one. <laughs> See, I was thinking more a barrel on the end of a rope that we attach to the back of the ship. <laughs> Uh, Possibly over the side of Niagara Falls. See, now that we're done here, we actually do need to head back in the general direction of the Hummingbird. Home of the Hummingburger. God damn it, now I want a burger. <laughs> Yeah, this is the closest bus. We get to see the good boy. Woo! Th thinking about Giovanni made me start thinking of gym leaders in Pokemon. And um, at the time of this recording, the uh, newest versions of Pokemon have come out. I... Star and I haven't gotten copies of them yet. I don't know if we're going to. Several of our friends have. But um, I think everybody on the planet has a new favorite gym later. Is it the Did VTuber? I not already build the lounge? I thought I built the lounge. Uh, not the VTuber. Um, one of the gym leaders is the normal type gym leader. <laughs> His name is Larry. Oh, that, that guy. Yeah, I need to be, here we go. I feel it would have worked better if it was Larry Butts. Well, well, you see, it's supposed to be like a pun on salary man in Japan, but L Larry, he's literally just an overworked dude. Yep, he, he's an amazing kind of guy. There, now we have your lounge. Oh, he sounds better than Whitney. Hey, Al. Hey, dude. How you doing here? See you. 
Yeah, the problem with normal type trainers is they don't necessarily lend themselves well to like incredible like like memorable jobs. Like Whitney is just a girl. Norman is just badass Pokemon trainer. Um what's his face from Sun, who to be fair I do actually like. Um Ilima is like school kid. Um God, I already forgot her name from White, which is embarrassing. Like, she's... she was the most memorable one, and she's like an archaeologist. I thought Whitney but, was a farmer. I mean, she has Miltank. I don't think it states explicitly that she's a farmer. Yeah, so Astrid even... Astrid is now taking out the frustration of knowing the truth on us. That's fine, I didn't like you anyway. I mean, I get it, but... Mm -hmm. You're not Carlo. Oh. But yeah, make, making Larry the normal type trainer and making him... Like, an overworked, underpaid office worker who is doing the Pokemon training thing on the side. That- that's friggin' memorable, and Technically, it's brilliant. Technically, he's not even doing it on the side, so much as he's ordered to do it. And it's amazing. No, seriously, he's just, he's just kind of a, when he confronts you about that, is like, oh, I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on that duty this week. Okay, let's get this over with. Damn it. <laughs> but yes, we grew a mulberry tree just for the express purpose of getting silk. We don't get mulberries. But we do get silkworms, apparently, that like mulberries. Does this mean we're not going around the mulberry bush? No, because it's a tree. Aww. I, I genuinely don't think I've ever seen a mulberry in real life. Used to have a- used to actually have a small little bush that produced them in my backyard at one point in time when I was growing up. Huh. Oh no, we we have a sugarcane plant. Finally, we get some garlic seeds. Oh, Griffin uh, is happy that... once more. But you notice we're mostly advancing Giovanni and Astrid right at this exact moment. Well, to be fair, the other one didn't want to come with us because. The house wasn't right or something. Yeah. Which, now we can actually build that, and I need to. Alternatively, we could poop in her shoes. To the we chicken, she doesn't wear shoes. shoes. Damn it. That's the problem, we don't have her shoes right now. I'm confused of seeing a chicken wearing shoes, but then again, I've seen a chicken wearing pants. I, I remember an episode of Ed, Ed, and Eddie where Rolf, using his blacksmithing talents, made shoes for his chickens. Yeah. And they couldn't walk. <laughs> or fly away. <laughs> Brilliant piece of physical comedy. There. We got the- I put the tower on top of, uh, Beverly's- Beverly's house. And Since we were kind of stuck up. with it. Now you can be woken up every day by the sound of a huge chime. Have fun. Sounds like my grandmother's house back when she had a house. Yeah. Back back when I used to visit my grandmother. I used to sleep out in their den because it was more comfortable than the bed they had in the guest bedroom. 
and they had a huge freaking cuckoo clock in there that for some reason decided to ring every morning at 4.30. Grand, Grand had numerous cuckoo clocks and a grandfather clock all over her house. And they were all set to go off every 15 minutes. Did the one grandfather clock stop working after your grandfather died? Oh, oh no, no. Well, technically yes, but like 20, 30 years after he died. Because remember, my grandfather died before I was born. Right. Seriously, what are you feeding those things? They're huge! They're as big as ostriches! Mostly sunflower seeds. Seriously, I'm, I just load up sunflower seeds in their little feeding trough. Uh, I was going to make a joke about a kaiju fight between, like, a chicken and Godzilla, but then I went, Oh wait, that's just Gigan. I thought you were done with me for a while. And, nice. Hmm. Usually sweets tend to work on her. There, you can oh. have corn dogs. God damn it. I haven't even made more corn dogs since that. Okay, so let's see. I mean, we still need to make those lobster corn dogs. <sighs> <laughs> has it been 20 minutes? <laughs> yes, it actually has. I was going to cut it off as soon as we got in here and. There we go. A tool is all set up. So we're going to see this on the next episode. So until then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye, -bye.